Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for October. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is for the month of October. You may watch it in September, it's being recorded in September and it may resonate in September but in reality I am kind of doing this for October. I think I am doing this for October so let's go with that. So Gemini, what do we have for Gemini? New spark. <laughs> I just instantly saw the Ace of Wands and it was instant. So if if you're in a relationship, you, things could start to uh, get fiery. Things could get passionate. Whether it's a new relationship or it's a, a relationship that you're in, I see passion. I see a very intense, uh, attractive, uh, positive um exciting situation here whatever it is with the ace of wands okay if you are single this is instant okay you can meet somebody and have an instant sudden attraction to them um whatever it is it's pretty intense it's it's like a flame okay it's like burning it's hot it's hot so what do we got what do we got for gemini we're gonna start right here Whew. <laughs> that's funny Whew. Yeah, that's what it's like it's whoo so, hmm, interesting, very interesting. What do we got for Gemini? Whole lot of excitement by the looks of things. Oh, there it is. Woo! Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Look at it. Look at the passion. Look at the look at the intensity there. Wow. Okay, so we have a we have a strong connection here. Absolutely, we've known each other before. It looks very passionate to me. Look at she's got his hand on her on on his leg. Okay, very passionate. Absolutely, very into each other. Very very much so. Gemini. What do we got for Gemini? Hmm? The fates. The fate. It's, this is faded. Obviously, it's faded. So, we're going to read this one. Fate. Fate. Karma. Acceptance. That, that things that there are things you cannot change in knowing what those things are. The serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature and by your past experiences may be faded preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events in your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. Other people are who they are. You can't change them. The challenge is to accept them as they are and not try to make them otherwise to suit you. This is the time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view or how they should be so you can remain in the, the relationship and avoid discomfort. What if who they are and whatever is happening between you and them in this situation is perfect from the perspective of spirit? Now is the time to accept what you cannot change, even if it means that you honor yourself, spirit, and the other person by moving on. Love unconditionally, for each of us is on our own journey, and we cannot direct that of another. Be aware that this relationship is indeed fated, and you are meant to, ev you are meant to evolve into a better version of yourself as a result of it. This relationship 
that you are getting into or that you are into is faded. It is meant to be. You've truly known each other before. This person may be different, okay, because I, I, well, from what I was reading and what I was feeling, you know, you, you can't, yeah, there may be some differences, but according to spirit, you are needing to accept those differences. What do we got for Gemini for October? A faded union by the looks of things. Queen of Swords reversed. Ha! Huh. This isn't the Queen. This is this is the Page. It's a Page of Swords. Somebody's watching. Somebody is watching you. Private eyes are watching you. Yes, they are. Private eyes. You're not. If you are single, you ain't gonna be single for long. Nine of Pentacles reversed. You won't be single for long if you're single. <laughs> this is uh, Nine of Pentacles, somebody that, well, may not be where they truly need to be, or they may think that they're not where they need to be. They may not know their value. They may not know their worth. Hermit reverse. Somebody is absolutely watching you from afar. They absolutely are. <laughs> see, they're, it's like they're in hiding. You see? Look at we got somebody in the background watching. We do. We do. We got somebody that's watching you, Gemini. They're watching you closely. This nine of pentacles reverse that kind of I'm like I'm stumped here. This is you need to listen. There's insecurities here. Maybe you're feeling insecure with yourself. Maybe you're feeling insecure about this union or this this situation. Maybe you don't feel like maybe you're afraid to give up your independence. I don't know. And this is a very this is a loner as well. The hermit. So Giving up independence may be an issue here for you or the other person. I don't know. I can tell you something, though. Something is about to change. Ah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, coming to the rescue. This is somebody coming to the rescue. This person takes action. This guy is, a, is to, really, he's coming to the rescue, okay? So somebody is coming to the rescue. <laughs> happiness. Extreme happiness. This is the sun card. This is a rebirth. You're about to find a whole lot of happiness here. Somebody might even give you flowers. Ooh, yeah, somebody's coming out of hiding. Somebody is about to cut. Somebody that has been watching you is about to come out of hiding. A wish is about to be granted. I'm telling you what, a wish is about to be granted here. You don't, you may not see it coming. You may be feeling insecure. You may feel like you never, it's never going to happen. But I think that you don't lose hope because something is about to happen. This, if you are single and you're watching this, you may be losing hope, thinking that you're going to grow old alone. That is not going to happen. Somebody is watching. Somebody is investigating. Somebody is about to uh, come to your rescue. That Somebody's about to speak up. They are. The truth is about to come out. Or somebody's about to speak their truth. Somebody is about to take action by the looks of things. <gasps> 
Queen of Cups. If you are a male watching this, you are probably you are you are headed towards a probably somebody that has a really really big heart. This female has a really 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 big heart. If this is the female that is watching this, your heart is big and somebody sees it. Okay? Somebody wants a piece of it. See, somebody sees an opportunity for happiness here. If you are the uh, if you are the male watching this, this person is ready. This person can make you very, very happy. This person is nurturing. This person is kind. This female may have blonde hair or blonde highlights, or she may even have she could have dark hair. It doesn't matter, but um, she has a lot of love to offer. The female has a lot of love to offer. This man is a hero, okay? That man is a hero. He's very noble. He is um, very capable. He is, uh, he doesn't have a lot of fear. Okay, this man is basically, I feel like he's fearless. Seven of Cups, moment of decision. Yeah, we have somebody here that is seeing a situation clearly. It is, yeah, somebody is seeing a situation clearly. They've been hiding. This is the High Priestess reverse. Somebody has absolutely been hiding, like hiding in the background, and they are about to step forward. That's what I see. And it's almost like in a moment of crisis is when they step forward. It's like there's a moment of crisis which causes them to step forward, you know? So I'm not sure if you experience some sort of crisis and then this person comes out of the woodwork. They've had their eye on you for a while. If you are in a, if you are in a relationship now, you, you could have had, you could be dealing with somebody who's been suppressing themselves. They've been hiding. They haven't been really communicating. They've been blocking the connection because of fear or whatever. And now they decide to open up if you're in a relationship now. Um, things are absolutely about to change. I think somebody is going to come out of a, a state of illusion or confusion. They're going to make a decision and they're going to step forward. So somebody is about to step up to the plate by the looks of things. Woo! A hair of a commitment. This is a, a commitment that is stepping it up to the next level. So somebody is about to get into some sort of really commitment. I mean, if they are, if you're not in a commitment already, you're going to get, somebody is about to get into some sort of commitment. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, by the looks of things. You could be dealing with a Leo as well. Whatever this is, Gemini, this is... E e I feel as though there's a higher power involved. You notice the hair font is pointing up above. That that hand po is pointing to a higher power. This is fate, okay? There's a there's a higher power involved that is is bringing two people together at this time, and I think it's in a moment of crisis. I really do. You notice the fire in the background. You know, there's and this this person looks like she's you know. She needs to be rescued. So this is like a moment of cri of crisis where this person comes to the rescue. I'm not saying that there's going to be a fire, but, you know, this person is um, needing her hero to arrive by the looks of things. And I think that the hero is going to arrive. Um, you may need to, you may need to uh, have faith. You may need to have faith at this time and trust that this is that this person is, is is part of the plan. Okay, this is part of the plan, and have trust and faith that this person has is part of the plan. Um, you may feel confused, and you need to really realize that you know maybe this person is a little bit different than you, and whatever this this person is part of the plan. Maybe you're confused about giving up your independence, you know. But this person was brought into your life for a reason. Maybe maybe this is. 
exactly what you've been wishing for. And the universe, this is universal timing. Anyhow, I think that we, I see happiness right around the corner. And I see big happiness. Big, big, big happiness. The challenge is not giving up hope. The challenge is probably, you know, has something to do with independence, giving up independence, or, or uh, becoming independent. That could be either way, okay? Um, the challenge is um, letting somebody love you, perhaps. You know, that desperado, that kind of thing. You know, letting somebody in. Um, I do feel like somebody is watching you and they are about to step forth. And I think there's something that happens in your life that causes them to step forth, okay? It causes them to step up to the plate. Um, this is somebody that you know. I believe this is somebody that you already know. Um, could have something to do with a church. I don't know. I don't know. I just happen to notice this church here. Uh, this priest or whatever it is. So I'm not sure if it has something to do with a church. Maybe you're going to get married. Maybe you're going to get proposed to. I, I don't know. Um, somebody is making a choice or they're making a decision to unblock their feelings or unblock their heart to, you know, speak up by the looks of things or step up. Um, five of wands reverse. It's like this person doesn't, doesn't want to play. This person may have been reluctant or you may be reluctant. This person is not looking to play games. They're not looking for, to deal with any more competition. It looks to me as though this person just wants to settle down or something like that. Ooh, look at the fives. Whew. This, and then we have another church. So I'm not sure if this has to do with a church. Um, I don't know. I don't say that very often, but church is coming up. Um, maybe you're going to go to church and meet this guy or meet this woman. I don't know. You meet this woman at a church or man or whatever. But anyway, this is face your insecurities, face your fears. Um, there's some level of, of definite insecurity here. There's people, so we have somebody here that is feeling very insecure with themselves. Maybe they, maybe, maybe you have somebody who feels like they're not worthy. They're not good enough, whether it's you or the other person. These are both the cards of insecurity. The challenge is letting somebody in, letting somebody help you. Um, there's a feeling of despair, you know, is this too good to be true? It feels like a wish has been granted and, and then it's like, no, I, I, this is too, it's hard to believe. I, I don't believe, I can't believe. I'm here to tell you that I feel like this is meant to be. I think this is fate. I think you have known this person before, and I feel like the universe is bringing this into your life at this time for a reason. There's a purpose. I think there are two people coming together that are absolutely positively meant to be, and this leads to a whole lot of happiness. A lot. A lot. Maybe even marriage. Okay? Um, so, Gemini, I think that you should expect the unexpected. Five. 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 555 five, five is expect the unexpected. This is a life change. This is a, a big one. It's a major life change. Okay. Um, things are about to change for you in an unexpected manner. Okay. You're about to let go of something that uh, kept you stuck. Okay. Because fives are letting go of the old and bringing in the, the new. Okay. So something new is beginning. And this is your this is your chance to... Choose a brighter future. And, and so my advice to you is to choose the brighter future. Okay. Um, I see the insecurities with these five, five, fives and the instability. But this, this is your chance to change your direction. Okay. Um, I see the conflict. You may be feeling very, very conflicted about what is happening or about... These changes that have come into your life unexpectedly. Remember that card at the beginning. That what I read. Go back to it. That serenity prayer. I, I, I find the courage to accept the things I cannot change. This is fate. Okay. It's fate. Um, things are changing for you. My advice is to just accept it. To go with it. Whatever this is. It leads to happiness. It really does. A lot. Big, big, right around the corner. Big happiness with a whole lot of love. 
Good luck.